morning and welcome to our kitchen. I'm Gordy Galusha. And Nancy Oshkosh. And today we're going to be making cheesy sweet potato apple casserole and uh, pumpkin bars for dessert. Also Asian honey, honey garlic chicken. And we're going to start out with Nancy this morning. And what number show is this? This is 301. 301. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to start out with the sweet potato and apple casserole. Um, in my fry pan here, I have sauteed uh, small to medium um, sweet onion that uh, I've cooked for about five minutes or so. Did get a little browner that I wanted them to. You just need to make them translucent, but that'll give a little um, extra flavor to the casserole. Uh, so I'll be using those in a minute. Um, in my large bowl here, I'm going to mix together one cup of part skim milk ricotta cheese, and for some seasoning, I want uh, a teaspoon of dry thyme. teaspoon of dried basil, and salt and pepper to taste. And I have my lemon pepper without any salt. which isn't always easy to find, but Aldi's has it, and some salt. And mix that all together. Now I'm going to add the potatoes, uh, the potato, sorry, the onions that I cooked. And some sweet potatoes. Uh, two medium to large sweet potatoes that I have diced um, and peeled. Uh, I did this ahead of time, so I wanted, I don't want these to get brown, which they could um, a little bit. So I packed them in water to bring to the studio. And then two large or three medium apple of your choice, which I peeled and diced, and then I, on these I did my lemon juice. So they would not go brown. This is the first recipe for me, which a lot of my recipes are. Um, and most of them over the years have turned out just fine. It's a challenge I took on, I guess. And you've mixed all this up well. I'm 
going to put them in a, well, not a 9 by 13, excuse me, a little bit smaller baking dish I have here, which I have uh, sh spray shortened. Could do a nine by thirteen. And to top it off, I'm going to sprinkle about one and a half cups of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. This will go into a 375 or so uh, oven and bake for 40, 50 minutes uh, just to cook the uh, vegetables and the apple. So there is your cheesy sweet potato and apple casserole. Hopefully good for the holidays. Today I'm going to make pumpkin bars, seeing how it's Thanksgiving um, almost here in a couple of weeks. This might be a good dessert for you to serve for your, to your guests for after your Thanksgiving dinner. In my bowl, I have one and a half cups of flour, uh, a half a cup of sugar, and three quarters cup of cold butter, and I'm making a shortbread crust. It's, it's um, better results if you do it in a food processor than it is with a um, pastry blender. So this is all I have today is a plate pastry blender, so that's what we're using. And I'm going to turn that into my pan. And I'm going to make a crust. I'm going to pat a crust in here. My hands were very clean before I started. <sighs> okay. That looks like it might be a okay. Okay, there's the crust. Okay, and into my bowl, I need four eggs. I need two teaspoons of vanilla.
one and a half cups of sugar. And I need um, pumpkin pie spice. Okay, I'm going to put in two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. Make sure I don't get too much in here. Call that two teaspoons. And I need um, cinnamon. I need a um, one teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, I need two, um, you have to have two um, cans of pumpkin, um, pumpkin puree, not pumpkin to, that you make your pies out of, but pumpkin puree, the real thing. I just um, poured my, I just had to open up my cans of um, evaporated milk. I have uh, two cans of evaporate, a uh, cup and a half of evaporated milk, and I'm going to put in two cups, uh, two cans, excuse me, of pumpkin puree. Not the pumpkin that you use for pies, but the real stuff. Okay, then you mix this all together. Off we go. <laughs> Come on. It has to go in there. Somehow. Hmm. There. Okay. Make sure everything is on. Mixed up. And this is what it looks like. It looks like pumpkin pie mix for uh, your pumpkin pies for Thanksgiving. And now I'm going to pour it on top of my crust. Okay.
and that's what it looks like before it goes into the oven and I'm going to put it into a 475 oven Whew. for 45 minutes okay now back to Nancy okay I'm going to finish off uh, the show now with fixing my Asian honey garlic chicken and it doesn't take too long um, I have melted in a large fry pan about two tablespoons of butter or margarine and I've got four basically four um, chicken breasts that I have pounded and I'm going to do the, what we call the egg wash um, we first of all uh, have a half a cup of flour which I've added one teaspoon of ground ginger to and salt and pepper to taste and I'm flouring them the chicken breast first and then I'm egg washing them and into the fry pan This is always get your fingers. <laughs> and if you have to see. <laughs> Do them in kind of Okay, one more piece. I think I'll try and fit them all. Somehow, into the side there. There we go. Now we're going to brown these and I'm going to have to wash my hands. You uh, fry those about four minutes on each side. Of course being pounded down won't take too long to cook them through. And then uh, this bowl here, I have uh, warmed. I did it on the mi in the microwave, and I'll do it. You can do it on in a small pan. I have a half a cup of honey. I have two tablespoons of butter. I have a teaspoon of soy, so soy sauce, and two cloves of garlic, minced. And you want to warm that up. I will put it back in the microwave. And then serving the chicken on a platter, um, then you s drizzle the soy sauce and honey uh, mixture over the chicken and serve. So.
So I will finish uh, cooking this chicken off and uh, we will be at our table when we return. Welcome back to our table, show number 301. Um, we did three uh, things today, two for main dish and then our dessert. Um, I made a, right here, <coughs> casserole with uh, sweet potato and apple um, with uh, ricotta cheese and um, oh, sharp cheddar cheese on top. And I took um, diced up sweet potato and apple and I mixed uh, some ricotta cheese and uh, seasoning of thyme and basil, salt and pepper. Mix that all together and then uh, put it in the casserole dish and uh, uh, spread uh, shredded cheddar cheese uh, over the top and baked it in the oven. And then as um, the chicken I made is called Asian honey garlic chicken and it uh, is pretty quick to prepare. Uh, I pounded about four uh, chicken breasts uh, and then I egg washed them uh, doing the flour first, seasoned flour with ginger, ground ginger, and then into the egg wash and you saute uh, them uh, in butter. Uh, just three, four minutes on each side because they're so thin. And then uh, I've drizzled on two of these this uh, sauce here, which is a half a cup of honey and some butter and soy sauce and garlic, minced garlic. And you heat that up either in the microwave or on the stove. And then when you're ready to serve the chicken, you drizzle the sauce over the chicken breasts. And that's the two main course uh, dishes for the main course. And now Gordy will talk about her pumpkin recipe. Today I made pumpkin pie bars with short um, short um, bread crust. Um, I used um, gluten free flour, and I want to say your recipes do come out better if you sift your gluten free flour. So if you if you are gluten free if you are a gluten free person and you like desserts and you have to use flour, make sure you sift it first because it will make it a lot um, softer. If you just pour it from the the bag, it doesn't. I don't believe it tastes that well. So anyway, I um, that's how I did it. And I have um, flour and sugar, and I made uh, put three fourths cup of um, butter in there and made a shortbread crust. And I patted it, patted it into the bottom of a pan. And on top, I put pumpkin pie. It looks like a pumpkin pie. And with um, eggs and vanilla and sugar and pumpkin spice and cinnamon. And um, two cans of pumpkin puree. You don't use the um, pumpkin like you'd use for pies. You use a puree pumpkin. And also two and a half cups of evaporated milk. I mixed it all up, put it on top of my crust and I put it in a 425 degree oven for 40 minutes and then I turned the heat down to 350 and baked them 30 minutes more and they got a little brown on the side but that um, you can't see that because we got it turned around anyway after it's all done and you get ready to eat you pour on you put on a little bit of ready whip and a little dash of cinnamon and that is our um, show today and this is our Thanksgiving, well, not our Thanksgiving dinner, but almost like it. So if you'd like any of these recipes, please send a self-dressed stamp down below to um, Dalton Community Cable, 151 Park Avenue, Dalton, Mass, 01226. And that is all from our kitchen today. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.